Hey everybody and welcome to the first video of the R December of 2022. Probably the only R December ever. RD obviously for Red Dragon. Come on, you knew that. Where it's all about the top 12 units of Wargamer Dragon as voted by you. Over 300 votes came in, a couple of meme votes here and there, but it's still I would say over 300 votes, which is honestly more than I expected and I'm very very happy with the turnout, so thank you for that. And today we're gonna take a look at the 12th best unit as voted by you. There's gonna be 12 videos or 13, there's gonna be like an honorable mentions as well. And if you wanna really rip your ears out, you might wanna wait until the end of the video. Just a small little hint. Anyway, the 12th best unit as voted by you is not the Alloy 3, it's the Beacon 1C. Now artillery, especially tube artillery, honestly all kinds of artillery, they're always hard to really evaluate just based on unit card, right? Like your normal tanks, let's say just a Leopard or something, pretty easy to evaluate, there's nothing really hidden on that. Artillery is a whole different beast. However, the beacon might be the exception. Why? Because, well, there's two very important details that are really, really hard to read uh, based on a unit card. One is aim time that is just straight up not shown, right? Nothing here indicates what the aim time is. If you compare the Paladin to like a 100 point M109, obviously we see, okay, there's a slight range difference, slight dispersion difference, a small rate of fire difference. But the biggest difference is that the Paladin has a 10 second aim time and the M PCH M109 A3G A1 has a 30 second aim time. And that's huge, of course. And of course, there's direct firing capabilities, but who cares about that? Um, so that is one thing that is just not readable. The other thing is rate of fire. That is an exception with the beacon. It almost really, it re already gives a big indication, hey, something's different with this one, right? Because if you look at the vast majority of artillery, they're all in the realm of like, you know, from up two to like five, right? You can, every, almost everything has any, anything from two to five. I think it's, some might have six like the Cesar, but the majority have something like that. So it's really hard to evaluate because AS90, for example, right? It only, it shows four RPM just like, I know this M109, but the special thing about the AS90, if you take a look at it, is, for example, firepower. This is the armory tool, by the way. A short reload, 3.4 seconds, self length, 3. It fires 3 rounds in a very fast burst. And then if you take a look at the Paladin, or this M109 that I just mentioned, that also shows 2 RPM, we can see it fires 6 rounds with 10 second reload time in between, but both show 4 RPM. So that's why evaluating artillery is always difficult. And as I said, uh, it's, at least when it comes to rate of fire, you can immediately something, especially with the beacon. And let's be real, obviously, given that you all voted for this, I don't, I'm not really telling you anything new, but maybe I am. For those who didn't vote for it, at least. Um, the beacon not only has an even shorter shot reload than the AS-90, which is already really short. Right? 3.4 seconds, it's very fast. It fires 14 rounds in a row with that rate of fire. That's Crazy! The sustained damage output from this thing is redonkulous. Obviously, it's gonna eat supply like nothing else. But the supply cost, just per shell, not like over a minute, just per shell, is actually, thankfully, or unfortunately, not as high as it might be. Because unlike most, not all, but most 10 second aim time artillery pieces, um, does it show you... Uh, it does. It, it, yeah, it shows it a dispersion. The dispersion and HE are the only two factors um, impacting supply cost. Well, they're not directly Im having an impact on it, but those two values is what you can use to calculate. So there's a direct correlation, right? It's not like, I think, I might be wrong, but I don't think it is the way that if you change an HE by a modding tool, I don't think supply cost is automatically affected. It might be, but I don't think it is. But if you take a look at Paladin, right, the, the less dispersion, obviously, the more accurate it is. Lower dispersion, AS90, lower dispersion, Sessa, lower dispersion, um, and Thunder, lower dispersion. I'm just checking all the 10 second aim time artillery pieces right now. This one also lower dispersion. 
I think the Doha also has 10 second aim time with low dispersion. Rhino has a ridiculously low dispersion, right? And you can see exactly that in the supply cost. Ace 90, 84 per shot, Beacon 66. If you look at the Rhino, it has 105. But of course, with a crazy rate of fire, right? If you just only take this rate of fire set into account, which is always a bit iffy because, you know, a full cycle doesn't take exactly 60 seconds, right? Um, but if you just take this into account, um, obviously it's 12 times 66, right? That's something like 800 or something like that supply per per minute. Let me get the calculator up. 792, honestly, close enough. Whereas uh, with 4.89 times 84, you had 410, almost a half, right? So... Beacon eats supply like nothing else. You can, of course, go with the beacon, one mm -hmm. eh? Even less supply cost, but it has, and it has the same rate of fire, but a much longer aim time, and this, of course, is less accurate. Um, but you also, especially with such a high volume, don't necessarily want it to be very, very accurate, because with the sustained fire, if they all hit the same spot, obviously, what is there is eventually dead. But if it's a bit inaccurate, you hit a, you hit a you know bigger area and can like you know a couple of town blocks or a reasonably large forest patch and properly like empty that or put everything on fire panic it right so that's why for one you might not want to upgrade it simply because you know you want to have a second one against the first one can snipe it is very slow and has very little armor but also because the accuracy can actually be arguably detrimental now another thing is that i want to show is this chart where you can see the percentage of votes the beacon god and in red and blue is the maximum number of votes you know one unit god so uh, that's blue is not from the one and the same unit just saying um it's just that the highest value any of the units got so you can just roughly very roughly it's not a perfect visualization but you know also like guess to uh, guess or like see how many votes this unit got so Beacon, of course, not a whole lot of number one votes, obviously. But um, if you compare to, like, I, I, I want you guys to guess what you think, actually, right? Is the, the who got the number one spot on for number one votes, right? Which are valued the most for calculating. And when it comes to, like, the number of uh, rank four votes it got, it actually got a good amount, comparatively. So not a whole lot of units think it's the strongest, but certainly quite a few think, oh, it, it is pretty strong, but not the most broken one. Um, to be precise, it got 13 votes for rank 4, 10 for rank 5, 6 for 2 and 3 respectively, and 1 vote for rank 1, meaning one individual voted, this is the strongest unit. And you could, you know, technically calculate or guess it yourself, but uh, the most number of votes actually were 18, followed by 17, 15, and then 13. So this was the fourth most, uh, fourth highest amount of number of votes uh, any unit got. And it's only on rank 12. There are definitely a few uh, surprising results in this, in this poll. And I'll showcase them later on. But uh, yeah, that's the BK1C, the 12th best unit as voted by you. Once again, let me know what you think is maybe the next unit, what do you think is the best unit, or general guesses like where you think certain units will end up that you think you have a good read on. In any case, um, like I said, there's going to be a small... I don't want to call it the Easter egg, but surprise coming now. Um, if you value your... Years you might not want to listen to what's about to come. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye bye. On the first day of Christmas, you transcend to me a Swedish beacon 1C.